Hey friends, welcome back. Today we've got our newest edition of Snack Crate. This month it is from Turkey. So stay tuned if you want to see. Yeah, Turkey. <laughs> what? Stay tuned if you want to see what snacks we got. If you're new around here, I do hope that you enjoy the video and of course consider subscribing to be part of our family. We would love to have you. <laughs> Are we ready to eat some turkey? Yeah. Candy? <laughs> So here's our box and we are ready to start tasting some turkey. First up we've got Crispy Ridge Hot Atsili, bite sized zesty chips flavored with chili peppers. This flavor is very popular in Turkey. Oh. It was supposed to be a paprika and herb flavored one but they substituted with the hot chili. So our they're parents, cute. they're like little crackers. Our parents are gonna start first. Not bad. Tastes like a barbecue chip, you'd probably like it Jack. Yeah. They're good. Um, doesn't taste like a chili at all. It's more of like a salty, kind of like a barbecue, peppery. I don't know, they're good. It's a little hot. It's, it's got spicy. a little bit of nip to it, but it's more barbecue flavor than anything else. Those are good. I like that it's more like a cracker than a chip. Mm -hmm. You don't like it, sissy? No. Mm -hmm. Ew, you licked that and then I put it in my mouth. It tastes mm -hmm. like chicken. Next we've got chocolate pistachio sticks. A milk chocolate stick filled with crushed pistachios for a mix of salty and sweet in every bite. I love pistachios, they're one of my favorite nuts, so I'm excited for this. Antep fistuku. <laughs> What'd you call me? <laughs> so they are scored, it's chocolate with nut. You can't really taste the pistachio much, it's basically just like a nutty chocolate. It's good. It is good. Next, this one looks intriguing. Yes, it does. All right, this is a pop cake with banana, a sweet sponge cake filled with banana cream, then dipped in milk chocolate. Like just from the front packaging, it looks like it'd be like Boston cream or something in it. I've noticed that foreign countries have a lot of packaged sponge cake. <laughs> I think we've gotten like a do we, cake of sorts. Do we in have a lot of that here? No, not really. I can't, say, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Take a bite. bite. Jackson's always last, so he can have the first bite. Mmm. Is it good? I smells live, like banana. I would really like the inside. Oh, I'm thirsty. I would really like the inside. That's it's pretty good. Since it's bread, it made me thirsty. That was good. <clears throat> I mean, it's a sponge cake with banana cream and milk chocolate. Yep. Albini that was bar. really good. Albini. It's good, but it makes you thirsty a lot. It makes you thirsty a lot. Oh, this looks like a Twix. Next up is the Albini bar, a sweet and crunchy biscuit covered in caramel, then dipped in rich milk chocolate. You take the biggest bites. It looks like a looks big like, Twix. Right, oversized Twix. It's caramel inside. Mm -hmm. Caramel. Caramel. It's also crunchy inside. Mm -hmm. The cookie biscuit thing is a lot more like layery, flaky, crunchy than a Twix. A lot airier. I like, them. I like the caramel. I think I like this better than a Twix. No, I don't like that one. Something about it is off-putting. The caramel has a weird taste to it. I don't know what it is. I didn't care for that one. This one is chocolatale gofret. No idea. Layers of crispy wafer sandwiched together with chocolate cream, then dipped in milk chocolate. Definitely like one of those wafer things covered in chocolate. It's so Vortman. good. It's like That's the pretty good. Vortman wafers. Yeah. Man. The chocolate's really good on that one. Very. That one had a funny aftertaste though. So I don't know, maybe not. Next up is Cat Cat Tat. A light puff pastry surrounds a delicious filling. We've included either hazelnut, strawberry, cocoa, or apricot flavor. It has orange inside of it. See, that's what I thought too was orange. And then of course it had to be a weird flavor. Oh, it really, is. Like really a... flaky. It really and it looks like it's melting. <laughs> it's actually really good. Yeah. I got the inside, but not the outside. It's all right. Definitely flaky puff pastry, just with like the sugar crystals on it. Oh yeah. The filling's really good. Yeah. Next up is Coco Star, sweet and nutty coconut formed into a bar and dipped in decadent milk chocolate. And I'm probably gonna be all, the only one to like this. I know Will doesn't like coconut. The kids might. I don't know. I like coconut. You do? Good boy. Oh, that's really soft. Oh, it's like a mounds. Yep, that's gross. Mm. You can't spit it out. It's a mounds, basically. Mm. It's just sweetened coconut with chocolate. That's good. We can do one. It's a little bit sweeter than a mounds. Like the coconut has like a sweeter taste to it. If you All like right. coconut, you'll like that. If you don't, 
You won't. Next is Babeto Watermelon. These fun and flavorful gummy candies are shaped like slices of fruity watermelon and made with real fruit juice. Ooh, these are big. Mm. They are big. Let me see one. Mmm. They're pretty good. Those taste almost exactly like Sour Patch Watermelon slices. It tastes like the Arrowhead bubble gum. Next up is Biscrum Cocoa, a sweet and crunchy cookie filled with rich chocolate cream. This actually looks pretty good. Me and Matt can see one. No. Nope. They're hard cookies, which I don't like. Yeah. They aren't hard. Mm, they're crunchy. Mm. It's all right. I don't like crunchy cookies. So dry. Very dry. That wasn't very, that was underwhelming, I guess is what I'm looking for. That actually wasn't that good. No. <laughs> I feel like I just ate a tablespoon of flour. The chocolate on the inside was good. Was there chocolate on the inside? <laughs> yeah, it feels like I, I... she's spitting crumbs everywhere. Very <laughs> creamy. All right. brand. Oh, I see the spider, I see the spider. Da, 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 da. That's disturbing. It's, this it's is so spider. big. Oh God, it got bigger. What did it eat? <laughs> I'm sure it ain't flying. Okay, next is coconut. Thin, crispy wafers sandwiched with hazelnut cream, then dipped in milk chocolate. They've got a thing with wafers. Oh, it's actually got little bits Nuts. of hazelnut in it. Yeah. That's good. It's not too bad, yeah. I feel like I- would I, eat that one again. I feel like I wanna take a nap. Reminds yeah. me of a slightly airier Kit Kat. I'm so like, tired. Of bits of hazelnut in it. This one's cute. This is the Sin Pie Orange. This Turkish favorite features a sweet biscuit tart covered in orange jam, then dusted with chocolate sprinkles. This will be interesting. It's actually softer than I thought it was going to be. It's orange. That's actually pretty good. It's orangey. If you like chocolate orange stuff, that one's pretty good. Next up is the Mini Yums. Delicious chewy candies that feature a variety of fruit flavors made with real fruit juice. These look like Tootsie Rolls. Ooh, they're apparently chewier or harder. Tastes like gum. Oh. Really? Yeah, that one does. It's strawberry flavored. I'll try it. Mm. I like, like it. a taffy. Mmm. Kind of like a Laffy Taffy. Consistency of a Laffy Taffy. Or a Silex Sulu Toffee Saker. Rat too. Totally said that right. No chance I got that wrong. Next up, we've got Cracks Sticks. These crunchy cracker sticks are seriously addictive. Flavor options are extra cheese and extra herb. And they sent us one of each. <laughs> they look like... Sticks. We, we've got like cracker sticks here. I don't know what they're called. It looks like... A straw. It tastes like a cracker. Yes, it does. But it's not a lot Not even very cheesy. Oh, it's those things, the cheese dippers. Kind of, like the little dip in the cheese cracker pretzel things. They're kind of like those cracker sticks. And last but not least, we've got the Tayas Damlas. These delicious fruit flavored chews feature a burst of fruity filling in the center. We have included several flavors for you to try. Ooh, ooh, this one's new. Alice has watermelon and tropical. Jackson has watermelon and tropical. You probably have the same as me, the pineapple. <sighs> oh my God, this is like doughy inside. Yep, there's a jelly filling. That's pretty good. I expected it to be a hard, whoa, whoa. I expected it to be a hard candy, but it's not. That was good. I would eat those. Those could be addictive. Yeah, let's see if I get a good flavor. What'd you guys think of the turkey crate? Pretty good? Why are we raising our hands? Because we got something to say. Oh, but nothing comes out when you move your lips. It's just a bunch of gibberish. That was good, but hard. It was a little hard. This video is not the video I would expect you to start flowing some dry. The last candy was really good. Yeah, you like those chewy mm -hmm. candies? Yeah. The red one was good. Those were good. That was a new one. All right, friends, that's all we've got for you. We're gonna go numb on what's left of the chocolate and candies. If you're interested in Snack Crate and you wanna check it out, I'll leave a link down below. You can get a discount off your first order and we also get a discount. This will probably be our last Snack Crate unless we rack up some referral credits. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, we will see you later. Bye. 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 Bye.